coaching kids from the age of seven to 20, 21 um now and i find it so incredibly rewarding i'm lucky i'm i'm working at three schools which is pimple ladies college northern beaches christian school and as well as stella um stella maris at manly and i find it really rewarding and it's not just for track athletes it's for any kid who wants to learn to run fast for any sport so um i get such joy out of it because you know, these kids are great kids and they're just, if I can make changes to their technique, it can just make a difference in any sport they do, but also in their confidence as well. So um, yeah, I, I love it. I love being a part of it. And I love, I go out to, I have my Mel GT explosive speed clinics and go out to country areas. I'm gonna try and do that these holidays. And the country kids are amazing as well. Like going out to country, they have such appreciation. And and I think also, cause I'm a country girl, I love being out there. So. Um, yeah, it's funny. It's all become my full time job now because, you know, before COVID hit, I was doing um, some MC work and, you know, doing some TV work. And then when things all change, this has now become probably more my full time job. And um, yeah, I love it. It's really good. Yeah, yeah, so good I love helping you. others. Yeah. And yeah. Look, you're also, you're also national selector for track and field. Yeah, I think this was. I'm not sure if you're doing that currently, but definitely with the Rio Olympics in 2016. That's right. Yeah, I did that for about 10 years. So I stood down uh, beginning of last year, I think it was. Um, but yeah, that, that was great. I, I enjoyed that too, being part of it. And I think it's really important for everyone to put back in their sport and um, to be able to help others. So that was a great experience. I worked with two other great selectors. Um, so I love that. I love that. But now I'm I'm enjoying just more being a coach and just seeing these young athletes develop. That's probably more the thing that I enjoy most. I, I'm not more, I'm not really all that interested in the elite side of things of athletics. I'm more interested in the pathways. And like one of the things is we realize being a teenager is so difficult. If I see my athletes, my teenagers turn up, that just makes me happy, you know, because I just think it's so important for them to be involved in sport. And I feel like my job is to keep them invested in the sport. And if I can do that so they become like a teenager and an adult, then I feel like I've done my job. So that's the part that I love about it. And just about every one of them giving it a go, you know, no matter what level they're at. I, I just love that being, yeah, doing that. Getting in there and, and having a crack. and Having a crack. That's all you have to do. If, if yeah. uh, although you said you're not as invested in the the elite side of things these days, and more so, you know, the development pathways and that kind of thing, um, in your experience, which athletes, track athletes mainly, or you know, any for that matter, um, have you had the privilege of working with to develop their their performance and speed, and you know, who's probably you know one or two that you can think of who are probably the most you know gifted or talented at a young age? Well, I've got one athlete. Um, I started coaching when she was nine year old nine years old her name's Christy Edwards and um I've just loved watching she's now represented Australia at relay she's actually just been selected in the Australian four by one uh, 100 meter relay squad um so I get a lot of joy seeing her and she's really starting to run well again which I just think is fantastic so um that's my own little personal um thing of being a part of her career. And that's one of the things like sometimes uh, Jackie and I are a very unique situation where we've been together over a long period of time. But I think with um, coaches who have been with young athletes, they still pay, play a really big part to those who hopefully go and achieve it as well. Um, so yes, Christy is someone and she's been running so well. And they've got the Sydney Track Classic coming up on the, oh my gosh. I don't know when we're going to have this podcast going to be on, but not this weekend, the next weekend. So um, she's going to be running there. So that, that'll be fantastic. Yeah. To see yeah, you so there. 